Hi, my name is Dan, and today I'm going to be talking about fish oils, or more broadly, omega-3 fatty acids in the treatment of depression. There are three major types of omega-3 fatty acids. The first two, DHA and EPA, mainly come from fish sources, but there are vegetarian options available because the fish concentrate uh, EPA and DHA in their tissues from eating algae. So there are commercial products available that are vegetarian fish oils. The third major type of omega-3 fatty acids is called ALA and that comes from flax seeds, certain nuts, and leafy greens. So that can also be obtained in a vegetarian diet. The body cannot produce omega-3 fatty acids on its own nor can it con convert omega-6 fatty acids, which are usually pretty high in a Western diet, into the omega-3s. So one of the major current controversies or topics in health is have we been negatively affected from the change from high omega-3s to higher omega-6s in the diet? How does this deficiency of omega-3s relate to depression? I was reading an older study from 1999 that showed a deficiency in omega-3s as compared to omega-6s in depressed inpatients versus the controls. So this evidence goes back for quite a bit of time. And with that decrease in omega-3s, there was also a compensatory increase in the cell walls of the omega-6s. Another larger study looked at 3.8K older adults, so patients over 60, with depression and also drew their uh, lipid panels. And what they found was the patients with depression had a higher ratio, again, of omega-6s to omega-3s, so further um, pushing some of that information. Another study that I found interesting was out of Finland with 1.7K uh, people. And they found an association with the people in Finland that ate lake fish two or more times a week had decreased amounts of depression and even suicidality. And that was after um, adjusting for sex, age, marital status, education, employment, and other, and other factors as well. How would omega-3s and fatty acids potentially help with depression? I was looking up some potential mechanisms for this, and the one that made the most sense to me is that the cell membranes are made up of fatty acids, and the omega-3 fatty acids make a strong fluid cell, mem cell membrane, whereas the omega-6 fatty acids, if they're incorporated into the cell membrane, it can cause some difficulties. So a healthy cell would be able to transmit neurotransmitters, stronger and function better and a better functioning brain cell would potentially help with depression and mood. There is both positive and negative evidence for fish oil or omega-3s in depression and there's a lot of international studies as well so I wanted to provide a larger scope of some of that information. The first trial I wanted to talk about was out of Taipei and the patients had standard of care with antidepressants, and then either omega-3s were added to the regimen or placebo. Their starting depression score was an average of around 22 on the Hamilton rating scale for depression, and in the omega-3 group, that score dropped to 8.9 as compared to the placebo group, the score only dropped to 15.7. So that's a drastic decrease in the depression scales, showing that in this case, the omega-3s was effective in lowering depression. Another study I wanted to talk about out of Israel looked at children, looked at young kids age 6 to 12 with major depression, and there was only 20 patients total, but 10 of the patients received omega-3s and 10 of the patients received placebo. And what they found was a 50% decrease in depression scores in 7 out of the 10 kids that received the fish oils as compared to 0 out of the 10 in the uh, group that was receiving placebo. You don't see that many trials with children, with young kids, so I found this evidence compelling and worth bringing out there. 
The evidence isn't all positive, though. I found a trial out of St. Louis, Missouri with 122 people, and sertraline was started as an antidepressant medication in these people, and then either placebo or omega-3s were added, and the depression scores did drop drastically due to the um, sertraline, but there was no difference seen between the fish oil group and the placebo group. Another trial looked at 59 women with perinatal depression, and these women were started on psychotherapy, and then either omega-3s were added or placebo. And again, depression scores dropped from the psychotherapy, but there was no difference seen between the omega-3 group and the placebo group. Natural Medicine's database deems fish oil to be likely safe in adults and possibly safe in kids. So it's on the safer side with the evidence that we have available at this point. There are some medication interactions. Fish oils at high doses can have an antiplatelet effect. So if someone's taking blood thinning medication or antiplatelet medications, then this could um, strengthen the effect of those medications. And fish oils also associated with a potential decrease in blood pressure. So people on blood pressure medications may have their blood pressure drop too low. Finally, fish oils or omega-3s are fats and certain medications can bind to fats. So if someone's taking a medication that would bind to fat, then you wouldn't want to take those together. You would want to separate the dosing. I bought an omega-3 supplement that had 150 milligrams of EPA and 300 milligrams of DHA per capsule and the instructions on the bottle say to take one capsule twice daily. So I was taking one with breakfast and then one when I got home from work. I didn't seem to notice much of a benefit increase or decrease in my mood or an increase or decrease in any physical effects. I felt pretty much the same taking it. And I was thinking why this could be, and I came up with a few potential reasons. One of which is that I don't really eat fast food or don't get a lot of omega-6s in my diet, whereas I do eat flaxseed every day in my protein shake. So I might already have a strong cell composition of the omega-3s without a lot of omega-6s. A second potential reason is that in the trials that I was looking at and subsequent research that I was reading into this subject on seem to point that EPA may have a stronger mental health benefit than the DHA component. And since my product that I was taking had a lot less EPA as compared to DHA, it might have been a dose issue. So maybe if I took a lot more EPA, I would have noticed some changes. But unfortunately, I was taking a lower dose and didn't notice any changes. I haven't noticed any negative effects from taking the fish oil omega-3 supplement, so I have been continuing to take it for potential other benefits. So I hope this information, some of the positives and negatives, and some of the international trials was helpful in regards to omega-3s in the treatment of depression. Thank you for watching.